today is uh, Thursday, October 1st, 2015. We just finished our founders meeting. Uh, we now invited, I invited several shows of the hosts to be in the founders committee for the human colony and they kindly joined us on Skype and today they, did, they didn't show up because we didn't have any crisis so they took, took their time and at the end of the meeting I asked Sabrina and Jim to give blessings to everybody, to the members and to all the listeners and that's the boot would be the traditional I hope it will be traditional of the ending of the founders meetings when we do the blessings I want to start and I will start the October started and with October with yesterday's last two days negative energy started to pour on us and again, you are facing with the choice, with a free choice. And it's up to you to choose positivity, to choose light, to choose kindness, to choose happiness in the surrounding darkness, in the surrounding lack of purity. You can choose to be pure and happy in the surrounding mess it's a free choice and you can practice the happiness through the law of attraction if you wish to it is a challenge and don't take it as a personal challenge take it as a seasonal challenge take it as a challenge of planetary alignments that's the model we are playing with models that's my model of Hmm, a DNA base of a t just a, one of DNA bases. We are playing in a model. We are playing in the matrix. And take it seriously and take it as a game at the same time. Look at this seriously and look at it from another side as a game. And it is a challenge, a choice for you to choose positivity. It's a choice for you to choose your masculine aspect, masculine, manly aspect, or femanely, girlish, womanlish, female aspect. It's up to you, everyone. You contain both in and yang, light and dark, good and bad, man and female, proactive and passive. <laughs> and I invite you to choose your feminine side now. I invite you to look at your femininity. I like you to proactively become passive, proactively become feminine, proactively to become fruitful soil. Being a mother, being a wife, being a sister, a grandmother, a daughter, being a fruitful, fruit-bearing soil, waiting for the seeds to be seeded. That's a conscious choice which I've offered to you. You can choose that. In all the conflicts, all the darkness that pours into you, you can be proactive, you can be angry, you can make choices, you can go forward in a discreet, angular way, or you can be passive, consciously passive, consciously feminine, and change the world through changing yourself. Being passive, observing, observing, feeding others, giving energy to others, and observing and inviting the seeds could be your choice feel your chakras your chakras also have feminine and masculine energy the sun chakra the solar plexus chakra is a chakra of the old humanity the humanity of 
dominance of the age of manly dominance, masculine dominance, the age of hierarchy, respect as well, hierarchy, respect, mistrust and dominance, or trust and dominance. It is old structure, tribal structure. Decide your loyalties, decide, make a free choice who are you loyal to? Are you loyal to your mate? Are you loyal to your family? Are you loyal to your close circle? Are you loyal to your bigger circle? Are you loyal to your light worker friends? Are you loyal to your city, to your government, to your country, to your continent, to your planet, to your solar system? to your constellation, to your galaxy, to your universe, to your multiverse, to your dimension, to multiple dimension, to the unity of all dimensions, to unity of all dimensions in your realities, to their source itself. <laughs> and if you're loyal to all of those, you got to be crazy, right? You got to be crazy. You cannot be loyal at the same time to conflict in parts, unless you are feminine, unless you are fruitful soil, and unless you are loving and loyal to everybody unconditionally. And then look at your heart chakra. That's the shift we are doing right now. We're shifting from solar plexus through the veil of forgetfulness, through a diaphragm, through a diaphragm we are shifting to the heart, where the trust and compassion and feminine principle is the basis. And you can choose to shift and be in this higher level of trust, compassion, and going from the particle to a wave, from discrete to diffused, from decision to intuition, from the purpose to desire, <laughs> from words to emotion. I invite you to move into the water, liquid state of consciousness, liquid consciousness, liquid state, liquid, embracing everything, being everything at the same time being a wave at the same time and covering everything. That's a female principle. Embrace it if you wish to. I bless you with that. It's your choice. <laughs> and you can choose something or you can choose everything. Choose everything if you like. Bless you be. Bless be your state, your path and state. And you didn't, don't have to be loyal to a state. You don't have to be loyal to a government. You can be loyal to a state of being, to kindness and to love. That's it. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so um, I would like to say a, a few words here about uh, Hukula. Um, I think we're growing by leaps and bounds now, and many, many positive things are happening within Hukula. Um, I'm sure it wasn't expected my max, and I think uh, uh, I think by anyone, I think we're getting some really good channelers, good information, um, and people are beginning to, you know, find themselves 
um, find what it is that they enjoy um, coming into themselves. It's happening faster and faster at this time. Um, and, you know, I love seeing that. I love seeing people move forward and and become aware of their abilities and who they are. So that being said, I also like to acknowledge that there are many people right now that are being challenged um, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally in many different ways. Um, due to personal things. So I would like to say to them, you are strong, you can do it, you can move forward, you have the inner strength within you, though at times it might seem like it's not there. You do have it. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your own light and your own heart, your own kindness, um, regardless of what seems to be, know that you can shine brighter and that there is much inner strength there that you don't know you have. So hold on to that. Hold on to you your love for all there is to God. Ask God to help you um, or whatever it is that you believe in. Um, they will help you. They will come and give you inner strength. And you know, I, I saw my share so I can say they definitely are there for you. And on that note, um, I want to publicly acknowledge Jim's help on this, for he helped me a great deal um, while I was going through my trials and tribulations. But please know that you are loved. You are loved. You have always been loved. You have never been let go of. You're always being held. And there will always be somebody there to reach out and grab you and hold you, comfort you, and give you whatever it is that you need at that moment. Some comfort, a hug, a kind word. So, don't despair. Um, take it a day at a time, and you'll see that soon you'll come past that fog that was there, and you will see the light, and you will shine. You will shine. So, that's what I had to say. Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you, Sabrina. <clears throat> I just want to say this is a time of change in energies, in enthusiasm, in the way things are done. I see that many of you are we're having more get-togethers. We're connecting in a greater way. We are becoming a more of a community, which is what has been predicted. There's going to be another get-together at Roxy's house coming up, not this Saturday, but next Saturday. And I, it's just something that was born from the get-together from Sabrina's. Everybody saw the love, the connection, the beauty, the healing, and all the things that happened there. And it's going to start happening all over the place, all over the world. And now the next one is happening in, in Texas. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing.
Yeah. Let me just say that I love the human colony people because they are trying to connect. They are trying to grow their spirituality and understand who they are in their perfect in their perfect selves. And what I want to say today is your gratitude, your positivity fills up the world. Not just rooms, but each other. And when you fill each other with positivity and love and confirmation and support, and you send that out into the world, how can it not be effective? How can it not affect others? Because of your joy, your understanding, your wisdom. You see, negative words bring negative surroundings. Negative words bring pain, sorrow, and destruction sometimes. But positive words have the same power. In fact, even a greater power for connection, for love, for inspiration, for beauty, for peace. So give thanks. Fill your rooms with love and gratefulness and thankfulness, wisdom, and, and all the positive words you can speak out because when you speak these powerful words and with the intent that you want them to go out into the world, do they not go out? Just like music can affect you, and it, it, it is a vibration, so are these words. These words of great intent, like love and gratefulness and wisdom and joy and happiness and health, have so much power. So fill your life with powerful words. Powerful words. Don't say they the nots and the can'ts and the won'ts. But try to speak as much of the powerful positivity as you can because that is a strength that you can use anytime unless you can't speak. And then you can do it in your head unless you can't think. But you know what? As individuals, we'll be able to either think or speak it some, most of the time. So think it, speak it, live it. Because that is where the powerful energy of this change is at. This change of energy that we have become part of is incredible. And will take you places you've never been before will be with you like nothing has been before, will help your Reiki be more powerful and healing than it has ever been before because that is what its intent is. Because the ascension has started so well, and it has, the energy came in just as well and is part of what we are doing. Congratulations to you all because you are the part of a birth of a new wonderful world. You are a part of a birth of a new wonderful thought process of how people can be free in their spirituality and not be confined by all these negative thoughts, actions and deeds that are forced upon them. It is a new world of individuality where you don't have to be stuffed into a mold to be, to be a person. You can be exactly who you are and free to express exactly who you are and if someone doesn't like it they can still accept it. Wow. What kind of world is that? Don't you love that? Don't you love that? There are still going to be those that are negative because they are not part of what we are. Yet. And may never ever become part of what we are. But what we are together is so much more powerful and so much more positive and so much more free and enlightening 
than what kind of life they have to live because they're pressed into those molds, pressed into their own depression, pressed into their own sorrows and negativities. We do not have to be that way. If we are, we choose it. If we are, we choose it. So choose to fill your house with the positive words. Choose to fill your home with love and light. Choose to be someone that welcomes change, even if it's difficult because something good is going to come from it. <laughs> Open yourself to the positivity and the prospects that something good is coming, because it is. So fill yourself with positive and hope and let the things come as they may. It is easier to get through a hard time when you're in a positive attitude rather than an, an attitude of you're never going to make it. Where would you rather be? Dealing with a problem where you know that there's positivity and support or dealing with a problem when you see no light at the end of the tunnel and the people around you are totally dark and depressed. Of course you're going to choose the lighter, more positive means to go through these problems. So support one another. As we do here on Human Colony, I support you, Sabrina. I support you, Max, and I support everyone here. And I love you all. And that's what I have to say today. And we love you too, Jim. Thank you. And we love you, Max. Thank you, you too. Alrighty then. That's our that's How about it for galactic? today. Sabrina, can you give us a little galactic language? Okay. <clears throat> Katana na 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 kio koru akari o koto no no skuru kutu o kia kia kio to no su kia kari o koto no 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 skio kutu o kia kana na na kio ko skia kuti kio ruala kati o no 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 kutu kia aria ko soni akari o katati o kutu na skia katali ehi o ku akali o koto kutu na sio koru akali. Na kio ku to kua kalia katani, e kio sarana kio to kua sakatua kata, ni yu kua takiaka, na ka tu osu, noru kotu karia katakala, no yaria katu tutu, na sakario, no olia kara no ko kala, ihi o kua kala nanana. Ia ka tua satia ka tu, no kua kala tuon tu kutu, tis kara o kotonu kua kariaka, iua nara kato kutu, u sakati iuku, na kari kato kuluaka, anaka tu kutu, u kua ka na kari o kotutu su, o lali ya nana, atatua, no sukotua tati, iu kua nanana, Akatu akata no sokutu o kuta ni kiokutu to kua tatu no kua katu to si kiyo o ku onuaka a sua tatati utu no kutu sari akatatu onita anaswa iyo tua nasaka o watati osu. Remember, my friends, you are of the light, and you pour light on others. And remember that to that you can send love to even those that hate you or are at war or are in difficult positions. And it does not matter if they send it back, because what you are doing is putting salve on the, the bruises of the world. And this is something that you are to do. This is something that you are to remain in. You are the doctors and nurses of the world at this time, and you are those that will take care of the patients, 
that are to come to you? And will you give them difficulties and negativity when they come, even if they are in bad shape and do not return your good nature? Of course, you must always give that which is good and see only the good within them and care for the good part of them and try not to see that which they are trying to give to you because it is not who you are but you are trying to heal them and heal the world mother nature is on your side on this she is giving you the energies that she has for these things she is giving you the thought process to overcome that which is not good in you, the negativity in you, and be a healer. Be the healer. Be the peacemaker. Be the lover. Be the one with wisdom. Do not argue against those that have negative thoughts because you will only tend to show them that there is an argument and that you are not at peace. If you do not respond to all this negativity it will show that you have nothing to gain by arguing with them except keeping your peace intact. Does that make sense to you my children? Yes. What? Let us just heal the world and put salve on the wounds and not argue or become part of the bombastic peace that is of the world. And we send down to you our peace as well. For we see who you are and love your light. It is warm, generous, and flows like a great sun. It is a small speck of light, but when you get close, it's like a thousand suns. And when you look at it from a great distance, is it not tiny? But yet it is so strong. Be well, my children. Be well in all that you do. And we will be with you and all those around you will find a way to help in some way. Much love. Much love. Be well. Much love. All right, goodbye everybody. Stop in the broadcast. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I have to go. I have an 11.30. I will see All you right. later. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye Jim. Much love, everybody. See you, see Much you. love. See you, Max. Bye-bye.